The NFL is drawing a line in the sand as it tries to get more players vaccinated. In a memo yesterday, the league said it will not extend the upcoming season over COVID outbreaks among unvaccinated players. Now, if a game cannot be rescheduled and is canceled, the team with the outbreak may have to forfeit, and that means neither team gets paid for that game. The team responsible will cover any financial losses and could face disciplinary action also. The New York Post sums it up with this headline, NFL Vax or Lose. Raymond, indeed, that says it all. Yeah, look, I spoke to an NFL player who shall remain nameless, and he and his teammates have been talking about this. There, are, There's a lot of unhappiness in locker rooms over this uh, as they get ready to go back to training camp. Uh, there, look, a lot of African-American players are saying, I don't want this vaccine. Now, whether there, there are cultural uh, blockades there or whether it's a, a deeply held belief that they shouldn't take it, that should be up to them. But I think to deny a whole team, if because remember, the rule is, if you are unvaccinated and COVID spreads through your team, you not only forfeit the game, you lose your, your seed playoff space. I mean, the, the whole team suffers. So players are talking about this now. I think it's very complicated. The NFL is going to have to backtrack on this. I, I, just, I just think this is a, this is a, a, a draconian measure, and these, they did not consult with the players. Kaylee. Yeah, I don't believe in mandates by companies, by the government. I believe in personal choice. I've given the reasons why my personal choice was to get vaccinated. I believe the vaccine created by President Trump has saved a lot of lives, and I feel confident being around the elderly now. But the bottom line is this is punitive. Uh, this is not about, this is not a conversation between you and your employer. It should be between you and your doctor. But when an employer gets involved like this, uh, threatens to punish, lose game, take away pay, uh, it just is over the line. I think most Americans would agree with that. Mm. And Abby, Raymond Green brings up a great point as well, which is where is the NFLPA on this? This right. is a heavily unionized industry here uh, mm -hmm. or league here. So it's sort of interesting that, as he put it, this draconian measure even, even passed. Yeah, well, I think we're yet to see that as we see more players come out against this uh, because, you know, they are a very powerful organization. They're the voice for the players. And I think Kaylee said it best. This is about, uh, I think, less of a fight of getting vaccinated and more of a fight of being able to choose. And uh, I bring up DeAndre Hopkins. He came out and he said, um, you know, he's questioning his future in the NFL after this policy. And he cited in another tweet that he responded to that it's because uh, part of the reason is because his girlfriend's brother other suffered heart issues after getting the vaccine. Now mm. that is yet to be proven, as as I'm sure um, you know more investigation into that. But you can't necessarily punish players for making the choice to do this, and, and it puts everyone in a bad position, especially when you can be responsible for neither team getting paid. It's like going right. to practice, being being late, and then making everyone else run sprints and sitting there and having to watch them. Of course, you're not getting paid either, but it's it's a tough situation. Well, what if a vaccinated player is is responsible for the spread? I mean, we have seen the Delta variant move right. among the vaccinated. Are the NFL now yeah. epidemiologists? I mean, this, this is a this is a crazy. I don't know how you enforce this. Right, and the the turning point is just the the existence of the of COVID. So even though they're talking about spreading, there it's just whether or not they test positive. Right. And Martha, to the point that Abby brought up, the forfeiture non-payment clause that's from the from old rules. So we're sort of including old rules while trying to fit it into this new situation of COVID, and then on top of it, this new policy that they have. So. What a mess, to say the least. What a mess. And it's going to be this way with companies, with schools, universities, mm -hmm. sports teams. This is the issue for the fall as people head back to work because some people, you know, have reasons for not wanting to get it. The other thing, I, the only last thing I would throw in is that they should be doing antibody testing. Um, mm -hmm. If you can prove Great that point. you have antibodies to Very the virus, true. it should be the equivalent of getting a vaccine. This is not my opinion. This is um, based on a lot of doctors that I've spoken with who, who make a very good argument for this. So that should also be an option for these players. Yeah, I'll be Good curious point. to see if this spreads to any other leagues. Um, no pun intended with the spread. <laughs> All right.